Today we're up to Lesson 165 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 165. Let not my mind deny the thought of God. Let not my mind deny the thought of God. What makes this world seem real except your own denial of the truth that lies beyond? What but your thoughts of misery and death obscure the perfect happiness and the eternal life your Father wills for you? And what could hide what cannot be concealed except illusion? What could keep from you what you already have except your choice to see it not, denying it is there? The thought of God created you. The thought of God created you. It left you not, nor have you ever been apart from it an instant. It belongs to you. By it, you live. It is your source of life, holding you one with it. And everything is one with you, because it left you not. The thought of God protects you, cares for you, makes soft your resting place and smooth your way, lighting your mind with happiness and love. Eternity and everlasting life shine in your mind because the thought of God has left you not and still abides with you. Who would deny his safety and his peace, his joy, his healing, and his peace of mind, his quiet rest, his calm awakening, if he but recognized where they abide? Would he not instantly prepare to go where they are found, abandoning all else as worthless in comparison with them? And having found them, would he not make sure they stay with him and he remain with them? Deny not heaven. It is yours today but for the asking. Nor need you perceive how great the gift, how changed your mind will be before it comes to you. Ask to receive and it is given you. Conviction lies within it. Till you welcome it as yours, uncertainty remains. Yet God is fair. Sureness is not required to receive what only your acceptance can bestow. Ask with desire. You need not be sure that you request the only thing you want. But when you have received, you will be sure you have the treasure you have always sought. What would you then exchange for it? What would induce you now to let it fade away from your ecstatic vision? For this sight proves that you have exchanged your blindness for the seeing eyes of Christ. Your mind has come to lay aside denial and accept the thought of God as your inheritance. Now is all doubting past the journey's end made certain, and salvation given you. Now is Christ's power in your mind to heal as you were healed. For now you are among the saviors of the world. Your destiny lies there and nowhere else. Would God consent to let his son remain forever starved by his denial of the nourishment he needs to live? Abundance dwells in him, and deprivation cannot cut him off from God's sustaining love and from his home. Practice today in hope, for hope indeed is justified. Your doubts are meaningless, for God is certain and the thought of him is never absent. Sureness must abide within you who are host to him. This course removes all doubts 
which you have interposed between him and your certainty of him. We count on God, and not upon ourselves, to give us certainty. And in his name, we practice as his word directs we do. His sureness lies beyond our every doubt. His love remains beyond our every fear. The thought of him is still beyond all dreams and in our minds according to his will. That's lesson 165. Let not my mind deny the thought of God. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.